the fuck do you think you running from? Come here. Come here. What's up guys, it's your boy F7 Mafia And we making a part 2 to the legendary budget laptop settings for plutonium video We're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make your shit run a lot smoother, a lot more optimal First thing you wanna go ahead and do if you want a Windows PC You wanna open up your settings, go over to the gaming tab Once you get over to this gaming tab, it should look like this Once you're on your gaming tab, it should look like this now, if you're not recording any type of gameplay, anything like that, if you just don't record clips, turn this off. Turning this off will automatically give you like a little bit of boost in your FPS and in, in the background and certain things like that on your computer. Because if you didn't know what this was, this is actually the game bar. So it opens up a big screen that allows you to record clips, share the Xbox Live, all that type of stuff. You just don't really care about that. And you're purely looking for performance games, you can go ahead and turn it off. Next thing you want to go over to is game mode. Turn game mode on if you don't know game mode optimizes your computer for specifically gaming any type of little things that happen in the background notifications other type of things it just slows that down and prioritizes your game over other things that are running in the background interfering with that next graphics hardware accelerated gpu schedule next thing this is going to be really important for gaming and stuff like that and plutonium so i already have that set in here like it says choose between better performance or battery life you might need to restart your app blah 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 take effect so you see i have my set to high performance so you want to click browse find wherever your plutonium is mine is just on the desktop and for example we're just going to do x labs because i don't have x labs on it once you add it it's going to ask you options like i said i'm doing x labs for example and because i don't have x labs already on here but you're going to be doing plutonium click on your option power saving we're not going to be doing no type of power saving also if you're on a laptop have your laptop plugged in it's going to give you better performance so we're going to do high performance this works for any type of graphic card no graphics card any of that if you have these settings this is going to work for you and your benefit so say next thing you want to head over to is system so you want to go to system power and sleep once you're in this area additional power setting once that comes up you should get an older looking window screen pop up that looks like this and you want to click high performance like i said if you're using a laptop you should have your laptop plugged in it's going to help be able to give you more power for your system we're going to go high performance then we can close that but overall any type of system maintenance that you can do clearing files if you have a lot of things around your computer cluttering up your computer you're gonna want to get rid of that type of stuff delete anything that you don't need and unused apps unused apps use a lot in the background of your computer so let's just say for example with your task manager right you have certain types of apps that are running all over in your background processes processes in your background processes and it's just slowing down your computer lots of things that you don't need they'll just be running randomly in this area so check your task manager just see what you have in the background that you don't really need it's just good for pc health also but while we're here in the task manager we can go ahead and go to the next step startup but in this step right here we're going to be doing startup and what this is is basically as soon as your pc boots up these things turn on and some of these we might not want to turn on right at the beginning like cortana for example i don't use her it's a, it's a nuisance they try to force it on you with the windows 10 11 type deal i don't like that so i have it on status disabled the only thing i have enabled is microsoft edge and this also makes your pc boot up a little bit faster without having all of these different things boot up so disable any of these you just you just right click them disable disable any of these that you don't really need to boot up as soon as your computer boots up and anyways this doesn't stop you from just clicking on them and then making them boot up right after next up bottom left uninstall add program so once you actually get here to this section you want to start to do clean up any of these apps that you just do not use get rid of them now we're going to switch over to the actual game itself okay 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 so bam you on the game options set screen resolution is going to take a big toll on your system so whatever screen resolution that you can handle filter through those see which ones you can do display mode some games work better with straight up full screen just straight up full screen so i play on windows but for latency and other reasons full screen i heard is just a better option next up shadows this affects your game a lot at the same time you can't really tell the difference so it's actually a w option because versus not i mean versus having it on like obviously the game looks a little bit more pale but there's still shadows there so this isn't a bad option you're gonna want to go ahead and turn that down to off textures you want to go as low as you can which is low texture filtering low everything we going low anti-aliasing that's pretty much the jagged edges on things and stuff like that so we're going off on that too 
this off turn this off too now i'm basically building you the bare minimum like the lowest of the low type of rig setup so 900p shadows off advanced settings low low anti-aliasing off fxaa no ambient occlusion off depth of field now that's just the blurriness of how far like you'll see blurriness in the background like way off we don't really need that at all so we're gonna turn that off synced frame no maximum fps you can cap it but there's really no point so we're just gonna leave that unlimited so we're gonna go ahead and click plot again these are our settings run this and we're gonna see how this works Jeez. Jeez. but yeah man that's pretty much it make sure to subscribe though get me to a thousand subscribers if i'm at a thousand already you know you want to subscribe man. just subscribe like comment man thanks for watching the video hope this helps you out Peace.